tonight on America's Most Wanted, a beast that has plagued the internet while her crimes go seemingly ignored. She is known in the Dragon Ball community for obsessing over Goku's, that is, child Goku's genitalia, and she edits the Kenzenshu wiki as a staff member. She's Therese27, pedo-apologist who appears to be a pedophile herself. It doesn't surprise me she's a staff member at Kenzenshu, given how socially inept the staff appear to be. Mike LeBray, the owner of the site, aka Vegito EX, has a history of being a contentious elitist because the Dragon Ball fandom is filled with Neanderthal power scalers that only care about Goku or Vegeta beating XYZ. Ironically enough, I recall a post from maybe 10 years ago of him not understanding why people care about power levels or who could beat who. Something to that effect. Really? The brain-dead shonen that's mainly popular for its power-ups and battles. You can't understand why people mainly care about fighting and the power levels associated? Despite the fact it's the majority of the community, which you try to flush out of your weirdly obsessive self-proclaimed dictatorship? Okay, Mike, maybe you are that naive. Because I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt here. The benefit of the doubt about how you entrusted your staff, site contributor Wiki Edmund, whatever title you want to give her, despite the fact she is someone with an admitted history of what appears to be sexual harassment, abuse, who's to say, but also a very adamant and vibrant post history detailing her defense of a child molester and her fetishization thereof. And that's me being polite about it, because it is far, far far worse than I'm leading on. On some level, I guess I shouldn't really be surprised that this is a children's show and the level of obsession is just weird. Like, sure, Dragon Ball's fun. It's a good watch every now and then. Maybe uh, you enjoy the lore. Or maybe, again, you're a power-scaling idiot. But the level it gets taken to with some of these people is incredibly unhealthy and obsessive. It would not surprise me in the least if someone with 140,000 Reddit karma over the course of over a decade decided to reply to this. If there was ever a sign to get a life, that would be it, Teresa. That's her name, by the way. But I mean, is anyone at all surprised that a Redditor mod that's terminally online that has her brain rotted from pornography is a degenerate pedo or a pedo-adjacent person? There's three things she could do in reply to this. Either deny it's her, which won't work considering this is archived and verified as her account, retry the same bogus arguments in the thread, or three, say it was 10 years ago and she's changed. Well, I've got news for you. Tough shit. You did and said what you said, and it's archived forever. What was said was entirely indefensible and disgusting. And I will be having a couple of friends reading and giving their takes as well, which I've spliced uh, intermittently throughout the video. So, so with that said, let's get right into the main post. Some of you probably remember me mentioning my one friend Clayton, who is now in jail for molesting his daughters when they were very prepubescent. My first reaction to that news Beyond shock, always the first, was doubt that he did it. After I saw documentation of the proof myself, my only possible reaction was accepting that Clayton was a terrible person. All right. Of course, when someone does, when you're close to someone, Chris, when you're close to someone, yeah. and they do something that you couldn't see them doing, of course, it's always shock. There's always doubt behind, like, no, that person wouldn't do that. You know, it's unfortunate that this person has such a history of being surrounded by monsters. You would think that it would create a searing hatred, surely for the fact they did one of the most unimaginably terrible things a human being could do. But it doesn't end there. If it did, this video probably wouldn't exist. It's difficult not to look for reasons to sympathize with Mr. Pryor because I looked up to him and I find myself thinking of my own mindset when I was in his class. As mentioned in SBC, 
confirmed in a recent discussion with seeker girls hormones start kicking in at 11 to 12 maybe even sooner is it bad to admit that my 13 year old self is kind of jealous of these boys is it a weird thing to admit and not at all intended to diminish the victimhood of the 11 plus men in question it's just the truth i distinctly recall that my attraction to him was intermittent and that there were days when i found him repulsive if he made me angry i began to see him as being older than my dad uh but i daydreamed about him i remember trying to cut can sure sounds unstable and like not it's just a young person going through emotions yeah it's like a program testing on their body and brain or whatever they're not it's not really something they should apply they should just go through it and feel it i guess yeah, but I've seen so many arguments because I've watched Skeeter Jean, right? We've watched Skeeter Jean. Yeah, he's awesome. Jean. Yeah. Um, I've watched these pedophiles make jokes like, oh, yeah, well, I'm trying to help them explore who they are in their sexuality. Or I'm trying to help them, like, you know, grow into, or they were curious, or they initiated it first. It doesn't matter yeah. if the child, child, it's keyword. Better with me in than with someone dangerous. Exactly. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, you are dangerous. <laughs> exactly. Like even initiating that sort of sexual conversation with a child or an adolescent, even if they're fucking 16, I don't care. If yeah. a 14 year old starts top- talking about topics like that, shut if you're old, shut it down. Okay, you that's like conversations. If children are curious, like I learned, like I had like the birds and the beast talk with my parents, right? What makes these men think that it is morally okay to meet up with these young children and coerce these types of conversations, even with the teacher that she's talking about now? He had no right. It doesn't matter if she she was jealous or she thought, no. Because that's completely just like disregarding and invalidating how the victims felt at the time. Because you don't know what they were going through. She makes the argument later on that, oh, um, well, there had to be some sort of consent driven towards it. It doesn't matter. A 14-year-old can consent to something. It doesn't make it right. It doesn't make it acceptable for an adult to push themselves or to open themselves sexually like that towards a child. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, they're still a child. And based off of these experiences that they're having, because I'm pretty sure that this experience for these boys was a key moment in their life. and it. It, it's something that it can affect oh, a person definitely. for a lifetime. Yeah, they're going to remember that every time they get close to anyone. Exactly. It could affect it could affect their relationships with future, you know, girlfriends, boyfriends, whatever they're into. It could affect their how they interact socially. It can affect like their own self-perception because they could look at themselves and they could be like oh, well, this happened to me, and I must be, like, unclean or whichever. I had a friend who went through something. She was with an older guy. She consented to it, still didn't make it right. And he pushed himself upon her, and it was like, oh, well. She couldn't shower. She couldn't shower. Even though she consented to everything, she felt disgusting on the inside. Because at the end of the day, she was still a child. doesn't matter how, you know, it doesn't matter how things went. It could lead up to things where, especially with people in positions of power, doesn't matter if it, they're empowered because, or they're empowered because they're older, doesn't matter if they're empowered because they have some sort of position like a teacher or a principal, or let's say like a police officer, I don't know. But you, you get what I'm getting at, right? Yeah. Um, all right, let's continue. So first thing. This is the start of Teresa doing the exact opposite of what her body of text reasons for. There's this uh, psychological habit people have that if a person says they're not doing something and then proceed to do that thing, but reassert that they're not doing it, and the reader listener believes the assertion in spite of the evidence, there being what? It's... On the tip of my tongue, gas, gaslighting, that's it. Teresa, throughout all of this, gaslights those reading her post. You can say you're not doing something, but 
If you are, your claim that you're not means absolutely nothing. I'll point this out each time she does throughout her pedo-apologia. So it's difficult to sympathize, but she does exactly that. A girl's hormones start kicking in at 11 to 12. You know, that does not make a girl desire to be molested. Didn't make me desire it. Wow, crazy, right? And when that girl becomes a woman and turns 40-something, she definitely doesn't think back and go, wow, I sure wish I was molested because you're not a confused little girl anymore. You're an adult. Is it bad she admits her 13-year-old self is jealous of child molestation victims? Emphasis on victims? Yes. Holy shit, yes. Absolutely, resoundingly, 100% yes. But I don't think she was asking that question looking for an answer. It's very rhetorical. You are absolutely diminishing what the victims went through by romanticizing it. You're not 13. You're 40-something. Your younger self is not jealous. But she does not exist anymore. And she did not exist at the time it happened. Or rather, she did not have any knowledge of such crimes. But you know who does have that knowledge? A 40-year-old something woman romanticizing it. This is horrifying and it's lunacy. You are picturing a child being molested in your head. And it doesn't matter if that's what you used to be and getting off to it. That's called pedophilia because you are not a child. I also like how she makes this distinction as the truth and diminishing someone's experiences are mutually exclusive. They are not. Intent means nothing here. It's baffling to me someone would admit this online, though. I guess it's a good thing this thread got deleted. Too bad the internet is forever, though. It makes you wonder why it got deleted. It's almost like she requested it. Hmm. I wonder. If he saw her, though, this would evidence the man being attracted to children was likely gay. I bring this up because later she contended pedophilia is a separate orientation. Nonetheless, this is not normal and incredibly disgusting behavior. Even knowing what he did when I watched the video in the WLOX link above, all that attraction came back to me. Disgusting? He's 20 years older now, but so am I. Maybe it's because he knew he was being videotaped, but I see him teaching like he did on his best day in a good mood and excited about whatever he was explaining, making difficult problems seem easy, making agent solutions seem... Freshly clever. Okay, well, my argument with that. You can remember him as he... Which is disgusting, by the way, because the fact that you can still... You can still look at this guy and separate him from the crime he committed, knowing full well that he... He knew what he was doing. Doesn't matter how he taught or how he... How great he was as a person when he knew him, he still committed this crime, and it doesn't make it any right. Yeah. It doesn't make yeah. it... You know? Yeah, she's, the fucking, fact that she, she's a bit fucked in the head then, like sociopath or something. Exactly. The fact that you can look at this guy and be like, oh, well, I remember he, how he was when I was like 11 or 12 and the way he <laughs> teach things. And what, he's a fucking teacher. He's just, she's supposed to make you understand shit. He's not supposed to molest children. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah, and to still be attracted to him like when he's an old man, it it's not even like a physical crush then. She had some kind of mental infatuation, like obsession does, with him. It doesn't even have to do with the fact that he was old, it's the fact that he had like he did the crime and she could still look at him and be like, Oh shit, yeah, well I have all these feelings of attraction coming back to me because that makes her just as worst. Does it not? Yeah. Like but she has a knowing so well that he cult, inflicted like, obsession, these... I think. She she has a what now? She's like a She's obsessed with him in a way that's not even only sexual. No, like, she's demented fully. Because yeah. the fact that she knows full well what he did to those children. And that's what they were. Or were children. And that she could look at him and be like, oh, well, I still feel that attraction. That makes her just as bad. It doesn't matter how he well, treated she's you. Jealous of the, she, cause she probably sees the victims as competitors that she lost to. Which is demented, again, she, because... She said she was jealous of them, so... 
And honestly, it just, it's, she could recognize that what he did was wrong and whichever else. But at the end of the day, her actions say everything. Yeah, I think she she's like, she recognizes that it's wrong in society's mind. It's She's never seen it as wrong herself. Yeah, and she could, she doesn't have to full out call him a pedophile or be like, oh, well, I'm not, I'm not like saying that like he isn't a pedophile or that what he didn't do was wrong. You don't have to say that, but your actions and what you're saying and defending him and being like, oh, well, in ancient times, like, <laughs> yeah, anyone who brings up ancient it? times is, is already fucked. Like, what the fuck is that argument even? There's a like, reason that it's ancient. It's because we like realized it was wrong. Yeah, even at the time, like, I'm pretty sure there was some, like, what the fuckery going on. Oh, yeah, but a lot of those kids in their mind. That's where Olympic wrestling came from, was the kids fighting back against their their uncles, I mean. Oh, fuck. (laughs) It became a sport. (laughs) (laughs) In sport, just fucking. I mean, they wrestled naked. I I wonder how that started. Struggle snow. What? Oh shit, okay. Thanks to 20 years of further life experience, I can see that had Pryor actually been interested in me, my life might have turned out very differently. Wow, imagine what it must have been like to those boys who didn't consent to the actions that were being bestowed upon them. Crazy to think about, right? Because when it's not you, you can say all sorts of shit. You'd be like, oh, well, like, I was attracted to him, and, like, those feelings of attraction came back, and he's always been an attractive person to me. But if it were you to experience, like, you can't speak on anyone's behalf. You can't speak on those boys' behalf saying, oh, yeah, well, this is, like, I'm jealous of them. You know, I'm sure that they're, I'm sure that they were hurt and everything, but there had to be some sort of consent to it. Maybe there was a fear, but instilled upon them you know it doesn't even have to do with consent maybe there was the fear that like oh well he's my teacher i have to listen to him like because these are 11 year old boys yeah you can't change your mind halfway through if they're they're barely into puberty what makes you think they would be able to to adjust to this type of like you know what i mean they're not aware of shit like that it's hard enough to change your mind with someone your own age like i can't imagine how and bit difficult it would be for them that's fucked up yeah what's even worse though is the fact that like my brother is around that age the fact that i can imagine like a little boy like him and then an old man an yeah. old disgusting fucking it's pedophile bad man enough, bad enough that they can even look at them like yeah don't even look my brother wouldn't be able to defend himself in that situation i know full well kids are impressionable and just to be like to be good because they're still trying to discover themselves they're trying to learn more things they're still fucking growing they wouldn't know what to do in that situation and the fact that they're like oh yeah there must have been some consent to it no there doesn't have to be consent for it to happen because shit happens without consent especially with those young boys because that's what they're young like i said they're impressionable so what makes you think that they would be able to be like oh no sorry they might not even know that saying no is an option. Exactly. Even when I was 13 and like I had my first boyfriend, I was scared to say no. Yeah. There are cases where people are scared or they don't know what to do. And like those young boys, they probably couldn't even go to their parents about it because they wouldn't know how to approach that situation. They couldn't just be like, oh, yeah, well, mom, this is happening. It's with girls, too. It doesn't matter the sex of the child. Or the gender of the child. It's like that's with everyone. But it's even worse when it's a child because they don't know. Some might not know boundaries. Some might not know, hey, this is this isn't right. Hey, maybe my teacher shouldn't be doing this sort of stuff to me. Hey, how do I approach my mom about this? Or will my mom think I'm a bad kid? That's another thing. Cause they could be doing these actions and then they'll they could be convinced because she full well wasn't fucking there i know she wasn't there she heard about it she wasn't there in the room with the boys when that shit happened okay for all you know this teacher could have been like hey you're like you're gonna get in trouble if you tell your parents or we're gonna get in trouble or something bad's gonna happen 
Yeah. Okay, maybe it was just his presence and demeanor that made them feel like they couldn't talk to anybody. And the fact that she's going full out, hey, I'm jealous of them. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? How old is she? Fucking. Anyways, let's continue on. <sighs> when I got older, I realized how much his position of power slash trust had to do with his attractiveness to me. I don't think she's mentally well. Oh, Anyways. No. For sure not. If she's having discussions like this on, like, some forum I've never heard of in my life. Yeah. Probably wouldn't make it very long on others. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, okay. I'm not entirely sure I didn't see that back then. I think if I had ever indulged my little crush on him, an honor he shared with several others, mostly boys around my age, the fact that she refers to it as an honor is infuriating. Yeah. An honor? Really? These boys probably weren't even aware of, like... Because I know as well, like, it doesn't even have to be 11. I, I, at 14, I didn't know all of my options. When I w came into a certain situation, even now, and I'm sure you can agree, when you're in a certain situation, sometimes you have to lay out your options or you have to, like, really, you know? Yeah, you got it, yeah. Go to the shit I didn't realize until 10 years later. Those little boys probably weren't even aware that there was, like, a yes-no situation or that they had, like I said, like, they had options. I'm pretty sure I said something like that earlier. I would have probably freaked out at least a bit. I honestly don't know what I would have done, but I literally can't imagine what it must have been like for the boys prior targeted. My mind can go there. He's not just another pervert in the news to me. So, that last line, he's not just another pervert in the news to me, okay, implies to the fact that if there was some stranger on the news that she didn't know that came out to do this stuff, she'd be like, oh yeah, that guy's fucking disgusting. I can't believe he did that, though, to the, oh, like, these 11-year-old innocent boys. But the fact that she knew the guy, and the fact that she... Like, blinded by her attracted whatever towards him, how attracted she is towards him, it's like, oh, well, you know, he was a good guy. What do you mean? Like, yeah, he must have, like, are you kidding me? <sighs> okay. Yeah, it's infuriating. Yeah. Annoying. All right, let's. It is annoying, and it's more than annoying, it's fucking disgusting. How could you belittle and invalidate victims like that? Because those boys are victims. You can't be like, oh, yeah, there was some form of consent. They're 11. When I was 11, I didn't know how to give consent. At 11, you're just barely learning boundaries in some cases, depending on who your parents are. Maybe you learn boundaries when you're younger. Maybe you learn boundaries later. Either way, they're in that age group where it's, Oh, I don't really know a lot. Like, like, ugh. anyways. So this man molests children. He admitted to it. And he was later convicted. But this post was a little bit before the conviction part. She's romanticizing and fantasizing about him. She's jealous. Why did he molest them? Why were they so lucky? That's how this reads. There is not a shred of empathy in her posts. She claims that her attractiveness would have been contingent upon the power dynamic. And yet, here we are, 20 years later, with no power dynamic. She is professing her continued attraction to this degenerate male. It's almost like degenerates tend to be attracted to one another. Is it merely a lie or cognitive dissonance? She calls her attraction to him both a little crush and an honor. An honor he shared with the boys he molested? Or perhaps it's the fact that her crush on him is an honor 
and he shared that with others whom she also has a crush on. Because it very well seems to me, which you will, I'm sure, come to agree that she herself is indeed a pedophile like her teacher. Given the fact she is indeed fantasizing about a child being molested. This woman is actually insane. She considers the fact these little boys were molested an honor, but she's not diminishing their experiences. <laughs> yeah, right. Holy shit. But hey, maybe just maybe she would have freaked out. I mean, I would hope so, but I'm not sure her 40 something year old fantasizing would have this to be an honest desire. The next sentences are just depraved. She can imagine their molestation. It's a positive thing to her. He's not just a pervert. He's her pervert. <sighs> Keeping in mind that I think modern age of consent laws are logical and morally correct for the most part. Or dot dot dot. My quibbles are in an age group above and thus unrelated to the subject. I have serious issues with pedophilia being equated with pedestry. They're not different. She says they're two different things. Both are very bad. One is much worse, though. Both it's the, the same thing. Either way, it doesn't matter what level of bad you think they're on. They're both bad, period. There's no weighing them out. Yeah. I don't know where she's getting this idea that one's worse than the other. And what was she trying to say about pedophilia being its own sexual orientation? Um, I'll Sex get to that in a minute. Important. Here she talks about ancient Greek. <laughs> <laughs> ancient Greek shit. <laughs> this is where I'm going to get real mad because... What? Okay, anyways. One topic that comes up a lot in cases of child sex abuse is the practice called grooming. Ancient Greek pedestry is fairly well documented, and the courting of young boys was, in all its detail, almost su substitutable for the modern descriptions of grooming. The difference was that in that society, in oversimplification, but sorry, this is already running long, the boy expected this sort of thing and was well equipped to handle the situation. No, they weren't. Some That's chose to indulge. Some didn't. Rape was illegal and rare. A boy could choose his mentors and his lovers, and he knew how to say no. It doesn't matter if he knows how to say no! Rape was illegal and have... rare because they redefined it. They, they, exactly. They just didn't call that rape, so now there's no rape. At the time in ancient Greece, ancient, by the way, let's keyword the, the fucking, like, <laughs> highlight it, underline it, and put it in bold. Ancient! Greece, right? Yeah. People realize that was wrong. And you can't use that as like a logical defense to what has happened. Also, you shouldn't be defending this guy at all because what he is is a fucking pedophile. He's a groomer. Okay? <laughs> fucking the fact that she brings up ancient Greece is hilarious to me. Yeah, it justifies everything. <laughs> imagine her thought process for her to come up with oh yeah ancient Gre oh oh that happened in ancient greece oh like what the fuck okay well equipped to handle the situation she says it was something that they knew of and like that's terrifying that's fucking terrifying if you were a young boy and there was all sorts of shit going around you and like I don't even know how to like I can't even describe because that's like what the fuck well equipped to handle the situation some chose to indulge some didn't <laughs> that's so funny. some chose to indulge some didn't she says that as if the boys would have a choice yeah I know like some had parents they who knew how to them, say no and some didn't yeah, they knew how to say no. Okay, I could... If if there's a guy in the fucking metro mugging me, and I'm like, no, no thank you. You think he's gonna fucking stop? 
Do you think he's gonna be? Oh shit, my bad, G. I thought you wanted to be robbed. No, don't, no, you don't get it. All those victims on Epstein Island, they could have said no. Oh my god. <laughs> Totally. They know what no means. It's in their vocabulary. You can use it, right? Because no means no, right? Which should be correct. Yes, no does mean no. But do people always follow that? Especially if they're in a position of power. And, you know, seeing as this guy was these young boys, like, the, the teacher. He was the teacher. I feel as though as a child you have to have some sort of, like, level of trust with the teacher. But if it's to the point where he uses that trust to twist you in ways to make you believe things that, you, like, you know, to make you experience things that you aren't aware of or, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, of course you trust your teacher. You're supposed to. You're so, That's the person you're entrusting with your education. That's the person your parents are entrusting to look after you for eight hours of the day. Maybe less, maybe more. Depends on where you are. So, yes, there is that level of trust. But that doesn't excuse the fact that, oh, yeah, well, they trusted him. So, you know. Like, oh, my God. Again, modern age of consent laws are a necessary buffer zone in, of protection in today's world. Easier to make stupid decisions when you're young. It's easier to be persuaded by adults, especially those in position of power, when you're so impressionable. Which is why we don't follow the ways of ancient Greece anymore. Exactly, because rules have been implemented to prevent shit like that. But the fact that she felt it was necessary to bring up ancient Greece as a good and thing, what happened like, in those times. It's like that's what probably the worst thing they did in ancient Greece, and you're defending it. Exactly. Like, are you mental? Sorry. <laughs> yeah. You're mental. Considering she's a lol cow, most likely chronically online, she's gonna, like, go to the ends of the earth. She's gonna sail the ocean blue after Columbus, and she's gonna, like, come up with a bunch of bullshit on the way back. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, like, what's crazy about words and, like, posting shit on social media is that your words can be used against you. The way you articulate words and the way you, like, present yourself on social media, like, everyone's going to be able to find you, especially if you have a public account. Yeah. She has a Discord server. People know of her. That... How old is she? I wonder what percentage of her server has her ideals. She's 45? Okay. 45? That's like me explaining to my mother. Hello? <laughs> okay. Continue on, I guess. Fuck. 45 is fucking insane. 45, and you're running a Discord server, and you're defending a fucking pedophile from when you were in elementary school? Are you kidding me? You can't do anything else better with your life instead of, like, fucking go on panels and look at, like, examine Goku's dick? <laughs> what are you doing with your times? Get not a even, job. Get an not, actual not, job. Not just Goku, but child Goku. Ch child Goku. Wow. Yeah, that's fun. Round of applause for her fucking stupidity. I'd like to see her try talking to me. I'd love to see it. Oh my fucking god. Okay. That said, I think that grooming a prepubescent child and teenager are two different things. It's really not, but please continue. Prepubescent children are too young to even really understand what's going on. Looking back at my 13-year-old self, I wouldn't I would have known exactly what was going on. I was not an adult yet, but at that age, I was no longer a child. Teresa. <clears throat> Teresa. Your mindset has nothing to do with after puberty or being prepubescent or just going into puberty. That has nothing to do with it. And I'll explain to you why. Because an 11-year-old's 
can be just as impressionable as a 16-year-old. A 16-year-old can be just as impressionable as a 13-year-old. It doesn't matter if you're past puberty. If I were 13, I wouldn't have known any better, especially if I had that level of trust with that, that person because they were my teacher or my mentor or something of the sort. Okay, you could have a history with this person and they could use that to manipulate you into like being coerced into certain things. You're telling me that as a 13-year-old, you would have been like, oh, yeah, I know exactly what's going on. I know my options. I know. Exactly. Are you I'm fucking saying. kidding me? And for that reason, that's all the more reason why I think you should go into therapy. Okay, and this isn't even me talking in the video anymore. I hope she finds this video and I hope she hears this speech. Because that is a sick way of thinking. Oh, at 13, I would have known what to do. No, the fuck you wouldn't. You say that now because you're old enough to know that, hey, that's not good. The fact that you feel as though you need to defend his actions and be like, oh, well, I would have known. Oh, I'm jealous of those 11-year-old boys. Those 11-year-old boys probably have issues to this day based on what had happened to them in, let's say, the third grade, the fourth grade, whatever grade they were in. Like, really? What's even more hilarious is that me as an 18-year-old and you as a 45-year-old, I have to explain this to you. Which really doesn't make you any better than this guy that you're defending. You're no better than this guy who's, who you claim is like, oh, a groomer. And he did, like, molestation, pedophilia. You're completely invalidating what happened to those boys. You're going on a fucking whim here based on your experience with him. And you're like, oh, I understand. You know, he was a nice guy. You know, he, he, he taught me things I never knew before. And he explained things in a way I could understand. He's a fucking teacher. He's supposed to. You fucking crazy bitch. <laughs> He's supposed to explain. <laughs> Things that you don't understand in a way you can't understand. And he's supposed to have that level of trust with you so that he can level with you on your education. Okay? What's not a part of his job is coercing you into having some sort of sexual relationship with him, is, which is what he did with those 11-year-old boys. And you have the gall, the gumption, and the nerve, the audacity to say, oh, I'm jealous. Oh, I'm jealous. I'm jealous. There are so many kids who probably experience that. No, there are so many kids who do experience that. Whether it's in school, whether it's in out-of-school programs, whether if it's a club, there are things like that still happening today. And the fact that you're one of the people who see that and defend the actions of this one specific person because you know them is sick. Okay, to start, this is another attempt to gaslight. She says age of consent laws are morally and logically correct, but then goes on to argue the exact opposite. I don't exactly know what she's talking about by the age group above, but let's focus on the last bit of gaslighting in this paragraph. She has serious issues with pedophilia and pederasty, except she doesn't. Why is she bringing up an anachronistic concept? They're both very bad. But one is much worse? No. Wrong answer. Human beings in the past few thousand years did not evolve to have our development seriously change. A child then was a child now. Scientifically, a child cannot consent. An 11-year-old cannot consent in 500 BC any more than they could in 2024. Full stop. They're both heinous. And you know, this is the crux of the issue. She's going to argue that the latter concept is okay. It's basic pedophilia apologia. It's basic pedophilic rhetoric. Nambla tries the same thing. This whole map movement tries the same thing. I've seen it before, and I'll see it again, I'm sure. She contends that ancient Greek pederasty was tantamount to grooming. This is true. What do you call it when an adult leads a child who cannot consent scientifically? 
into a sexual relationship. Grooming. A carbon atom, while undiscovered at the time, was still a carbon atom. There is no difference beyond what was socially accepted, which does not make it right. We move past this for a reason, and thus there is zero reason to bring it up. The boy, even if the demented child molester at the time figured him well-equipped, whatever that means, would not have been able to consent. It doesn't matter that it was a pro-child molestation society. Sorry, Camille Paglia. Stop romanticizing men molesting and raping young boys. This is how you can tell someone's brain is rotted from pornography. Why are so many Western Fujoshis on Twitter like this? Again, I don't have an opinion of Vic Minoga. I don't care about him. But I know Kenzenshu staff have booted his supporters for far less. And yet this is their staff member defending young boys being molested? Incredible. It's almost like she hides behind Me Too issues like the insect she is because they pertain to her on some level. Per her own comments, read this tweet she made. She sexually assaulted, harassed people up till the age of 22. In her own words, she's socially retarded. But there's zero excuse. This person is repugnant. She is vile. She is revolting. Inside and out. It keeps getting worse. Rape was illegal. Wow, doesn't change the fact it's still rape due to the fact they can't consent. It doesn't matter if it was legal or if they didn't understand this. This is some Nambla-ass fucking defense. Jesus Christ. Look at how she's saying a child could magically consent in ancient Greece. Sorry, their brains weren't more developed than ours. You're fucking nuts. No, no is the default no matter what. Look, she's saying age of consent laws are necessary, as she argues, not always. She's gaslighting the reader. She's not talking about an ignorant, depraved Greek man from 600 BC's opinion. It's her opinion, her standards, not the boys. Her follow-up statement is trying to illustrate differences that were full well present at the time in ancient Greece. She's superimposing her standards upon those victims. The dude was her type. Therefore, they should be grateful to have his attentions. These boys, by coming forward to accuse him, definitely didn't share her low standards. And how dare she inflict her own values upon everyone, especially when they're pedophilic. She claims that grooming a prepubescent child and a teenager are different, which, sure, but they're both wrong. The difference between an 11-year-old and a 13-year-old is so minute it's hardly worth differentiating. Look at how she states she would know what was going on. Wrong again, Teresa. You would not truly grasp the molestation if it occurred to you. Look at how she's arguing that some kids, particularly herself in the modern age, are able to understand and consent. All that bullshit about not diminishing those boys' experiences about how age of consent is a logical and moral thing, about how she wouldn't know how to react, is directly contradicted here. She claims a 13-year-old is not a child. Full stop. A 13-year-old is an idiot child. Their brain chemistry is nothing like an adult's, and their prefrontal cortex is not even remotely developed. This is pedophile apologia. All right. <clears throat> I am glad that age of consent laws and Mr. Pryor's lack of interest protected me from making that kind of mistake. And why is she jealous? It's funny that she says she was no longer a child and that she would have known what was going on. But the fact that she has to say lack of interest protected me from making that kind of mistake. Yeah, She's exactly. full aware. She's yeah. aware she wouldn't have known. Yeah, contradicting herself. She's speaking on the, like, from her perspective now, saying, like, oh, I would have known better. No, you wouldn't have. You probably wouldn't even known any better at the age of 16. Oh, fuck, she's aging me. I'm getting gray hairs and wrinkles. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm honestly sorry that it wasn't enough in the cases of these boys. No, you're not. Putting aside the good reasons for the laws for a moment, 
It's very possible that, that those relationships had some measure of consent at least some of the time. I find it hard to imagine. Sorry? That still doesn't make it okay. Like, oh, sometimes it didn't scar them for life. It's really funny because she contradict, contradicts herself three times. That she yeah. would have known what, what was going on at the age of 13. But, oh, I'm glad his lack of interest kept me from making that same mistake. And, oh, there had to be some level of consent. Those boys were 11. You saying that you wouldn't have would have known at 13 and then contradicting yourself? What makes you think those boys would have known any better? What makes you think those boys had their options weighed out? 11? 11. Teresa, be fucking for real, Teresa. I find it hard to imagine that it could have gotten to the point of molestation without some clue of what was coming. That's <laughs> disgusting. That's, yeah, wrong. That's a disgusting statement, Teresa. I find it... Yeah, I find it hard to imagine that it could have gotten to the point of molestation without some clue of what was coming. To 11-year-old boys? Oh, they knew what what was coming, and they, like, you know... You know how scary that is? I really don't think you do. I have to keep rereading that because I can't believe what's fucking going on now. Because at first when I read it, I was like, oh, that's disgusting. But now, like, I really have to level with it because gotten to the point of molestation. What is the definition of molestation, Teresa? I assume it was just a nice way of saying, like, sexually assaulted. Molestation. Sexual assault or abuse of a person, especially a child. The action of pestering or harassing someone in, ag- in an aggressive or persistent manner. They may have known what was coming, but because of their age and because of the trust that they had to have had in this person that was teaching them in their classroom, what makes you think they consent to do it? What makes you think that they knew what, like, they knew that they could, you know, even, especially given their age, what makes you think they could have prevented it? Right? This yeah. man's in jail. I hope he is in jail. Because that's illegal. And you should be too, for the way you're so loosely talking about, like, oh, well, he was a good teacher. Oh, are you kidding me? And now what do you do with your days? Fucking go on Discord? Examine Goku's dick as a child? I know I brought that up, but what the fuck? I hope I see you in my office when I become a psychologist, Teresa. Probably see more of her victims. Oh. This is ridiculous. I hope it doesn't have to come to that point. I hope she's not, like... Like, she needs help. And that's not me saying that as someone who's like, oh yeah, this person's fucking disgusting. I mean, she is. But something's not clicking up there. The gears aren't turning. (sighs) Molestation and consent don't go hand in hand. People molest people. Without consent, because that's what it is. Sexual abuse of a person, especially a child. Sexual abuse that they probably didn't consent to. That they most likely didn't consent to. Teresa? Teresa? Teresa Gray? That sounds like a fucking Twilight character. Yeah. (sighs) Teresa Gray, is that even a real name? (sighs) Probably. I don't even know. The action of pestering or harassing some Pestering or harassing. Oh, Teresa, you know what I'll do for you? I'll search up the definition of harassing. The action of subjecting someone to an aggressive pressure or intimidation. Wow. Wow. Characterized by or using aggressive pressure or intimidation. Harassing behavior is a common occurrence in many places. Let's let's look at the definition of intimidate t- intimidation, Teresa. The action of intimidating someone or the state of being intimidated. 
frightening, menacing, terrifying, scaring, alarming, terrorization. I believe that Mr. Pryor should be punished for abusing those boys' trusts and their well-being and their mental state and basically everything because I can fuck with the person, Teresa. Whether or not he took advantage of their adolescent hormones, too. But I think it very lightly that he honestly believed he had consent and had convinced himself based on the reverence of the ancients. That, that the modern laws... Dangerous. Huh? It makes him more dangerous if he's that crazy. That the modern laws were unjust. It's only in the last one to 200 years that the average age of consent in European cultures has risen above 12. All right, so we're just going to be like, hey, he's like back in ancient Greece. We should excuse him. You know, he probably thought he had consent. You know, he just that fucking crazy. Maybe he teleported from ancient Greece and decided that teaching a bunch of third graders was a good career path for him. I don't know. Does that make it plausible? Does that make it acceptable? Teresa? I like using her name passive aggressively. It's funny. Yeah, yeah it is funny. Teresa? <laughs> By the way, that sentence is fucking disgusting. I hope she burns in hell. Next, she says she's glad age of consent laws exist and that they've protected her from her teacher. This directly contradicted what she just stated gaslighting up the ass she's sorry the boys weren't protected she wouldn't be writing this mess were that the case look at what she says next putting aside the good reasons for the laws for the moment my god man she can't even pretend she has empathy for these poor kids she's claiming they consented on some level see see she's gaslighting the reader age of consent is good but not always in fact it's kind of irrelevant Wait, it's good, but actually it's bullshit. That's her line of logic. This is a sociopathic person's reasoning. It's incredibly manipulative. She's literally blaming the boys for not seeing it coming. It's a child. The child cannot consent. It does not matter if they had an idea of what was going to happen or not. But hey, she gaslights us again by saying they don't have to take responsibility again. Unbelievable. She believes her teacher should be punished, but does she? Taking advantage of 11-year-old boys' hormones? They're 11 and they're males. What hormones? I mean, that's besides the point. Absolute clownery. She believes he thought he had consent based on literally fucking what? There is no evidence to suggest any of that is true. And even if that were true, who cares? It does not matter based on the reverence of the ancients. So this child molester was thinking of how the ancient Greeks molested boys and saw himself as one? Oh my god. That sounds like her own fantasy. It's not based in reality. And even if it was, it means jack shit. He molested little boys. Look at how she's arguing modern age of consent laws are modern. So uh, fuck it. Why would someone that's so in favor of age of consent make these arguments? They don't match her claims. It's fallacious nonsense. You can tell she wishes the age of consent was below 12 based on these comments. Uh, some of it is cut out, but I'll do my best. At sense, it's actually more risky for an adult to initiate a sexual relationship with a teenage girl. Because their girl is considerably more likely to tell someone whether that's because she was pro- something experience or she, she was angry about it she has a lesson she has a much less reason to feel ashamed it has nothing to do with whether the victim is a boy or a girl Teresa. remember that conversation about fucking mindsets we had when someone who is in a position of power and trust takes advantage of that trust that they have with an adolescent most of the time and uses that to coerce them in activities they don't typically want to be a part in Teresa anyways what do you have to say about that Chris uh, she's more worried about the predators than the victim like the predators risking blah 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 to do what they want 
Exactly. So it makes it so it makes them somehow virtuous or less bad. You know what's funny about those predator catching shows that we watch? That most of the time they're more sorry they got caught rather than the fact that they did what they did. Oh yeah. Yeah. Because if there were, yeah, if there weren't people there to stop it, God knows what they would have done. The fact that there were people there, oh sorry, sorry, I got caught. Fuck. <laughs> and yeah, that's why we need so. honestly and that's why we need people who you know like are you kidding me Teresa like fuck all right I'm glad that strangers probably didn't see the email but regardless I worry about why he hasn't written me back and whether I offended him, was insensitive, etc. Sometimes I forget that you can't talk to upper class church going southerners about sex and expect to have reasonable conversation even with the most reasonable people you know. That aside from the worry that he might be like what? That aside from the worry that he might be a victim and that my words struck him as callous. In what world? dimension civilization millennia is he a victim sorry officer the 11 year old boy molested me what he's a, he's a victim because he got caught <laughs> that's the way he's a victim yeah exactly and i'm glad he got caught because without him getting caught he would have still continued with those actions oh yeah yeah I don't know how exactly he got caught. I don't know if one of the boys decided to speak out and then amongst that one boy's bravery, the rest of them decided to speak out. That's usually how it starts. Yeah. Mm hmm I goofed in my original post. Pryor was already teaching at Bayview when the Stonewall riots happened. I wonder what he thought about it at the time. Something exciting or something that reinforced the fear? Or something completely unrelated to his situation. This is an interesting sentence. I should also amend that it's possible Pryor never actually had a pederastic relationship as an adolescent. Maybe he just daydreamed about it like me and sought to give all those boys something he des that he desperately wanted when he was their age. Why would he daydream? Like, he shouldn't be a teacher if he's daydreaming about that shit. Not only that, but the way that she continuously invalidates how these boys are treated is disgusting. Like, you know, maybe he's pushing his fantasies onto this boy, or these boys, which doesn't make it any better. I don't care if he had the same disgusting, filthy thoughts that you had at 13. You should never push that on somebody. Keep that shit to yourself. And I'm so glad she posted this online because the whole world can see it. There are screenshots and now there are people talking about it. Yeah, but there's so many people in her server. That's what I'm thinking. Like, do they just support it? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how many people are in their server, how many people knew what she did, how many people are supporting her, how many people follow her, how many people whatever. It's the fact that these people need to be fucking realistic for once in their lives. And see that, hey, these statements she's throwing out and these accusations and these beliefs that she's having, posting online, they aren't right. They aren't right. No, they're fucked. They're fucked. I don't care if it, I'm talking, like, or I'm speaking, and there are, like, 10, 20, 30, 100 people disagreeing with me. Because I know that I'm in the right, and I don't regret what I've said. Because I think before I speak, I reconcile with the fact that, hey, this isn't right. I recognize that there are certain things, like this situation, that need to be addressed. Because there are so many people like her who are probably thinking the same thoughts, doing the same things, and getting away with it. Because she's no better than the fucking teacher she had in the third grade. Why? Because she's invalidating these boys. Not only that, but she's continuously like, oh, he's so fucking sexy. 
Yeah, that's disgusting. 20 years older than her? He's in his 60s. He's in his 60s. Okay. All right. Like many pederasts, he always started small. And in the case of the first victims to come forward, he did not get very far. Good. His actions were physically concentrated on their pleasure, never mind the fat material he gained from it. Who is he to decide whether he should give pleasure to these 11 year old boys? Yeah, that's. Like the point I made before, it doesn't matter if they're 14 and they give you their consent, it doesn't matter if they're 16. Some states that's age of consent, but at the same time, it doesn't matter if they're 13, they give you their consent, it doesn't matter if they're 15 and they give you their consent. What makes you, an, as an adult, think that it's logical for you to go ahead? What makes you think that you're saying he concentrated on their pleasure? Pfft, fuck that. As a logical adult, he wouldn't have gone through with it. There had to have been some pleasure behind it for him, and obviously there is. You know, the fact that he did this with not one, but multiple boys. Are you kidding me? Teresa? <laughs> Teresa? Teresa? <laughs> kidding me? <sighs> okay. When I was almost finished writing the OP, I, I happened to read the following passage in The Witching Hour that made me even more depressed. The quoted character being tormented by a demon. Okay. I don't care about your witching hour shit. Let's move on to something she posted. Do you live in ancient Greece, Teresa? No? Huh. Weird. She emailed her child rapist teacher and then felt sad he didn't reply. She is uh, fantasizing how he felt about the Stonewall riots. Um, why do you care what a child rapist thinks about this? So she goes on to argue that it's possible the ancient Greeks have nothing to do with her teacher's actions. Because, you know, they don't. As if that would at all ever be relevant. It's nauseating how she goes on about what he may have been fantasizing about like I actually did throw up the first time I read all this maybe it was something I ate though but even now I feel a little sick at the pit of my stomach reading this part like she describes it as fap material for him what the fuck and how he was concentrated on their pleasure <sighs> based on what I mean who cares who cares? She's literally fantasizing about the rapes. The fuck? She's tormented about how people may be torturing the poor child molester. Jesus. Jesus Christo. He didn't rape anyone. No evidence of anything beyond touching has been put forward. That is molestation, no not evidence, rape. No evidence? So maybe it happened and there's just no evidence? such a horrible thing to say so basically it happened you just can't prove it yeah essentially that is molestation not rape what's the difference what is the difference Teresa let's search up the definition of molestation again fuck sexual assault or abuse of a person especially a child let's compare that to rape unlawful sexual activity and usually sexual intercourse carried out forced Fully or under threat of injury against a person's will or with a person who is beneath a certain age or incapable of valid consent because of mental holy illness. Shit. So all molestation oh, is fuck. rape. Literally! Holy shit, that's crazy! Chris, did you know that? No. That's cool. Wow! So the fact that we learn about it and we can search it up and we have the internet to tell us these things, not only the internet, but our common fucking sense. Yeah. Oh, I guess Teresa must be living in fucking ancient Greece for her not to know this shit. Wow! Unlawful sexual activity, right? Unlawful sexual activity. Sexual assaults or abuse of a person. The action of pestering or harassing someone in an aggressive and persistent manner. 
Usually sexual intercourse carried out forcefully or under the threat of or of injury against a person's will, or the person who is beneath a certain age or incapable of beneath a certain age against a person's will or with a person who is beneath a certain age. Sexual assault of abuse of a person, especially a child. Do those definitions sound different to you, Chris? Not very, no. Okay, that's what I thought, Teresa. Molestation and rape go hand in hand. It took me five seconds, maybe even longer, because I suck at typing, but it took me less than five minutes to understand that, hey, and this was a five-minute process, by the way, so listen up, Teresa. Five minutes, hey, what I'm reading right now isn't right. It doesn't seem right. What's the difference between molestation and rape? Nothing, supposedly. Okay, let's continue. Adolescent boys are not little boys. Those are prepubescent boys. What's wrong with this statement, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> Justification of fucking pedophilia. Just because it's a different <laughs> level of it. Like, no, this is this is just a little bit older, so it's okay. Their age isn't oh, but... on the clock anymore. Oh my god. I never once said anywhere in the thread that he shouldn't be held accountable for his crimes. No, but you're defending them, Teresa! <sighs> Which makes you just as worse, by the way. My opinion, you know. People don't have to agree with me, but I, in my opinion, it makes you just as worse. The fact that you are aware of what happened, you're aware of his crimes... And you don't say he shouldn't be held accountable, but the fact that you defend him. Actions speak louder than words, and that is something I learned at the age of nine! Yeah. It all has, like, because everyone grows individually. Everyone has different trains of thoughts, whatever. No one person is the same as another. Especially since those boys were 11. Some might have been aware of, like, the boundaries that they had, and the fact that they had options, some might not have. My brother's 11. I know he's impressionable. One yeah. of his friends might be a little less impressionable, but Just I know teach he's him impressionable. this stuff someday. Oh, yeah, no, I plan on it. I have. I've had those conversations with, like... Because, you know, all parents are like, hey, if a stranger comes up to you and says, oh, I'm here to pick you up because your mom said blah, 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 what do you say? And it's like, oh, no, my mom doesn't have any friends or whatever. Like, my my mom's a fucking together. loser. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, is my mom my mom had a secret word so if someone were to claim that they were there to pick us up i would have to ask them what the word is like what the what the secret word is or you know of course if yeah. i knew them them being one of my mom's friends then like i'd get into the fucking car with them but anyway. Thank God we have cell phones now I'd just be like okay call my mom put her on the phone <laughs> you don't know her number okay get out of here <laughs> Yeah. Um, the point of the academic discussion is to explore the fact that sexual predators are not always the people you expect them to be, and some possible reasons why that might be the case. Okay. There's no certain description of what a pedophile should look like. Their actions describe them, not their looks. You can look like a pedophile. Doesn't mean you are one. But the fact that you defend this man makes you just as worse. So maybe, Teresa? <laughs> Is it weird that I picture glasses and like a Jeffrey Dahmer look for pedophile? No. <laughs> no, because that's usually what I picture. Like, I picture like, a, like either some old man with a beer be belly, no hair and glasses, or I picture Jeffrey Dahmer, but like, yeah. brunette and scrawny. Anyways, mm. there's a great number of pet pederasts who are unconversely, yep, inspiring. What? They lived before the modern age of consent laws, but they still had sexual relationships with adolescent boys, and we revere them. <laughs> Name one. What? See, she goes ahead and she's like, oh yeah, um... You know, and ever said and threat what, held accountable for his crimes, blah blah blah. And you know, pedophiles aren't the people you expect them to be. 
she goes ahead and she's like, oh, well, you know, they're inspiring these pederasts. They inspire me because they do illegal things that, you know, aren't allowed in the modern age. They're living in ancient Greece. Should that be the excuse? Like, imagine fucking watching Chris Hansen or Skeeter Jean love and the, the fucking pedophile says, like, oh, yeah, I'm from ancient Greece. Dressed up like it, too. Yeah, coming over for some wrestling. Fucking dressed up, dressed up as, like, the little Caesars guy. <laughs> like, I'm an Olympic wrestling <laughs> champion. I would like to teach this boy. I shouldn't be laughing about that. No, that's very serious. And, like, honestly, it is serious because that just shows, like, her train of thought because it contradicts everything she says about not defending him or, oh, yeah, this is bad. Because her true colors come out with the words she says when she contradicts herself. So, really. I um, I don't think she feels it's wrong. She just knows that it's wrong for most so she's playing off that, like, oh, I know it's wrong, but I like it. Yeah. I know it's wrong, but I'm in ancient Greece. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is my favorite point that she makes. I made it clear several times that there's a difference between being gay and a pederast. The point is that this hasn't always been the case. And pederast- pederasty, sure, remain like the saying- only... That's like saying there's a difference between being an orange and a fruit. It's like, yeah, not all are one, but they can also overlap. Like, you can be a gay pederast or a straight pederast or a bisexual pederast. One's a category and the other's a different level of category. Being a pedophile or a pederast, you're sexually attracted to children, period. You can be gay and sexually attracted to children you can be straight sexually attracted to a girl you can be bisexual sexually attracted to children you're a pedophile either way has nothing to do with your sexuality and there should be no excuse based on your sexuality whether or not you're a pedophile or not Mm -mm. all right all righty then even Chopin uses the language of pederasty and its rules from time to time is this what she's fucking referring to do you hear this? Yes. What the fuck is she on about? Again, the story isn't about him as, as so much as about me. Me wrapping my head around what he did, reconciling with it, and now I've always... And with how I've always seen him as a person. Have you ever played Donkey Kong 64? Why is Donkey Kong a pedophile? No, I just like that game. Oh. <laughs> I mean, he might be. I don't know him, but... What a fucking U-turn, Chris. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Pederasty. Do you ever play Donkey Kong 64? <laughs> like, fuck. Fuck. Uh, anyways just a few short years ago prior did what have been illegal only for the aspect of homosexuality because everyone he targeted would have been over the age of consent 11 is over the age of consent would have been illegal only for the aspect of homosexuality (laughs) so the fact like let's ignore the molestation and the pedophilia and the sexual harassment he was gay so you know, so, yeah, it's, it's yeah. not the fact that he molested these children, it's the fact that he's gay. That's how it used to be, and I think she's making a point that, like, because it used to be that way, it could still be that way. Well, Which is bullshit. Um, originally posted by Therese, or Therese, whatever. Not sure how that makes sense, it has less to do with feelings for him, which are, by the way, rather complicated. And more to do with knowing him and how he probably rationalizes things to himself. She's romanticizing this guy based on what she knew about him, not based on the facts that are presented face front. Yeah, it's fucked. Yep. 
Um, sorry, I didn't mean to lessen the relationship and with acknowledge. And sorry, I gotta restart that. Sorry, I didn't mean to lessen the relationship with and knowledge you have of this man. From a purely outsider's view, please, prior, Mr. Pryor, someone have come over for it and accused you of molesting them as boys. That is true. Okay, well then, did you interfere with any more young boys? Yes, actually, the following six names. Thank you. Some time passes, more boys come forward. More men have come forward as victims, did you? Yes, I did. <laughs> Very hard to think as an outsider and never having met him that he's motivated by these boys slash men's best interests at heart. You know him. You had a relationship with him, T. There's no part of you who think that he's simply an evil child molester who knows that he has no defense and is trying to, in some way to get get off lightly by get off lightly by confessing. I really want to iterate that I'm not trolling here. I just find it really hard to see your point of view. I have a friend since childhood. He teaches secondary school science. Left him like he was one of my brothers. If he was in the position of prior, I don't think I could take your stance on it. This man has my, been my best friend since we were three. You know what is com comparable to L-O-T-R Dragonlance? Toss the dice. That makes no sense anyways. Hmm. That person has a really good point. She's based off, like, that's like what I said. She's romanticizing this man based off of an experience she's had with him, you know? Yeah, like, I, I get that. There's teachers I had a crush on that I can think about and be like, oh, yeah, they're still cool. But, oh, but it's, it's not even it's not even having a crush on the teachers. It's even just having, like, some sort of respect and trust within them. Oh, a teacher you just I like think... because they're good. Yeah, exactly. Like, I've had teachers who I've liked since because they were good. But oh, if yeah, any of my, yeah. if any my teachers one. came out and, like, that happened, that respect's gone. <laughs> yeah. You yeah, know? I can't. I can't watch Bill Cosby anymore. <sighs> I like. I like, this... like. Separate the art from the artist. Uh, no. Yeah. I don't. I, don't I like. I like this person. I like this person's point. Does no part of you think that he's simply an evil child molester who knows he has no defense and is trying to get, trying in some way to get off lately by confessing? I like this one. I don't like the phrasing of that, though. I don't like the phrase. Well, it's like, eh. <laughs> you want to get off lightly? What? Get off lightly, like get off lightly from like his crimes. Yeah, I know it. I know what it means. I just uh, got. I, I watched. Oh, Chris! <laughs> so every time you get you say the word phrasing, if it can be phrased bad. Yeah, but this person has a really good point, and I respect them from for saying something. And to know that there are some people that recognize it's wrong, which is good. But, you know, the fact that, like, I don't even know. <sighs> okay. Let's see here. Uh, do you really hard to think as an answer? Uh, okay, that just... Having never met him, that he's motivated with the boys slash men's best interest at heart. That's what I just met, read. That's the quote. She puts, you're confusing objectively pure motives with subjectively pure ones. Okay, sure. Quote by the same guy. You know him. He had a relationship with him. T. It is no part of you think that he's simply an evil child molester who knows that he has no defense and is trying in some way to get off lightly by confessing. I find it highly unlikely. I think he knows what he's done is wrong, but I imagine in his eyes, the line he crossed was much further out than we would place it. You're fucking insane, Teresa. Okay. At the end of the day, he's still a child molester. So many people on her server. If like, I don't know. I don't know how that many people could support it. Some people might not even be aware because this looks like a pretty old software and messaging or communication, social media system, whatever. Just ask a couple of them about what they know about her. Like, don't don't be obvious about anything though. Just like go into cover as a journalist. Well, or something. As a journalist. Yeah, I want to know about your Dragon Ball Z admin in this Discord server server because I'm a journalist. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Totally. Makes sense to you as as me. Um 
I've heard worse scams. <laughs> I feel as though we should just let this execute naturally yeah. because it not only does it bring light to the fact of what we know and the information that's put out there, but it would be a lot more plausible than and efficient than going into a server and like being like, hey, what do you know about like, because that's very specific. Like, well, hey, what do you know about this person? People first, you'd have to invest some time, like get make friends. And then as you get to know them, ask them about what they know about her. Oh, I got no time for that. Yeah, <laughs> take time. <laughs> Um, a uh, quote by the Unreasoner. It's hard for us to share your position when you seem determined to put the best possible interpretation to every one of this predator's actions. Yes! He isn't misguided or confused or upholding some supposed noble tradition of pedestrian. Pedestry. He's a child molester. Let me take that man out to coffee. Um... She goes, since when are the two mutually exclusive? I find that perspective confounding, and I think I would even if I didn't know the person under discussion, which is funny because she contradicts himself saying that, like, oh, it isn't uh, some, uh, some pervert in the news or something. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone rationalizes moral wrongs to themselves. It would be incredibly strange if Mr. Pryor did not. You know what else is incredibly strange? You defending him. And excusing what he's doing and all that jazz. Okay. And there's more. Uh, this is quoted from Southpaw 2012. That's a stupid statement. Yeah, some people use that to smear gays, but it doesn't mean there can be gay pedophiles. It's like when I complained to my ex that a fellow employee who was gay sexually harassed me as well as others. She tried arguing to me that gay guys would never hit on straight guys. That's just pure stupidity. If people want to argue that gays should be the same as everyone else, which to me they are, then accept the idea that they could commit atrocities that straight folk could. So there's a lot of posts of her defending her position. She contended that pedophilia is not the same as being straight or gay. She stated that it's uh, this separate orientation as a lesbian, let me break this down. At the basal level, everyone has a sex. You are biologically either monosexual or bisexual, where monosexual can be either hetero or homo. Some pedos only target little boys. Some only target little girls. Some target both. Some people argue it's all opportunistic. These predators are absolutely bisexual. And it is an attempt to classify, obfuscate, and normalize pedophilia. She also goes on about how before the 19th century, homosexuality as we know it didn't exist. The social conventions, sure. But same-sex attracted people have always existed. Because it's a polygenic process that exists biologically in human beings. And animals, which also proves this as well. This is a straight woman that does not understand the experiences of gay people that clearly gets off to Shotokan as well as continually. It's just so gross. She continually analyzes posts about Kid Goku's genitalia on Twitter, like actually obsessed. You can tell there's something deeply wrong with this individual. At the very worst, I've seen her call uh, manga artists to draw this kind of stuff in a sexual way with rape. Problematic. Ooh. You can tell exactly by the language they use that is completely disingenuous virtue signaling. Sorry, Teresa. Gay people, such as myself, have always existed. However, repressed and different customs and expressions may have been in whatever time and place. And pedophiles have clearly always existed too. And just because the society was okay with it at one point does not change the fact it was wrong then as it is wrong now. Because a child cannot consent, and it will harm the child. Also, look at how these other posts defend her. It's not even worth going through how much she defends her child molester teacher more throughout the post. There's also this part where she is talking about how even lesbians got on the child molest, the, the pro-pedophilia train. And it's like, that was Pat Khalifa who was rightfully criticized and 
uh, didn't understand why all the lesbians hated her. Um, Pat was and still is a nutcase. Uh, oh, she mentions how a lot of these queer theory founders were pedophiles and so forth, which is true. And it should tell you that there's something deeply wrong with it. Because being queer has nothing to do with being homosexual. Molestation is rape. Get over it, Teresa Gray. No matter... No wonder you don't get laid. Look at you with your 140,000 Reddit karma. Go to the gym and stay away from little boys, you freak. No wonder you attach yourself to movements and claims about other people, whether it's Vic or Michael Jackson. You're trying so hard to hide your own degeneracy by attacking others that are guilty of what you have done. Look at me, guys. I'm one of you. I'm so against these things. You're not fooling anyone with a brain, Teresa. Again, the internet is forever. You fucking freak. You're ugly inside and out, and you deserve to be exposed.